Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to Alternation. Uh, we're gonna do something a little different today. Uh, the garage is pretty much done for now, the way I like it. So I think I'll be leaving it like this for the time being. Let's see how it feels. I'll let it grow on me. That's how we're gonna do. But uh, today we're gonna be doing a, an all change. So an all change on the Jeep. Uh, I know that it's not a, a normal video, something that we normally would do. But I thought it'd be something cool. This is my first time changing all in the Jeep, so figured why not go ahead and video it and go check it out, see what's up. So yeah, let's go ahead and get it in here and uh, get started. All right, so it's a little chilly out. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close the garage door right quick. That way it'll be nice and warm. But yeah, it's nice, everything fits in the new garage. I really like that. I can slide the truck in, close it up, access all my tools, everything I need. I really like that. The wall of tools is my favorite. Yeah, and everything else is kind of stored up nice and neat. You saw that in the last video, uh, which is down below, uh, with the garage, I guess, remodel, nah, or whatever you wanna call it, organization, I think fits better. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get all the stuff together. I made a trip to a Walmart and I got everything I needed uh, for the all change. So I'm gonna get all that together and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. So this is actually a pretty cheap uh, do-it-yourself type thing. Uh, you could go to a, an auto parts store and get all this stuff. I picked it up at Walmart, so I went with Mobile One Extended Performance Full Synthetic, and uh, it's $27 for five quarts, which is all you need. Uh, the Mopar filter uh, was $9, I believe, and of course the fuel treatment uh, was uh, $2. So I went ahead and I just always use that every oil change. Just something I like to do. But other than this, you need basic hand tools, which we'll get to in a minute. But uh, yeah, so for, I mean, 40 bucks, you can do a pretty decent all change at your house. And I just like to do it myself because I know what happened. But that's just me. So we'll go ahead and get into it. So first thing we'll do is we'll get our all catch pan. And I typically just use a couple of pieces of cardboard. So of course we're gonna open up our drain. And I like to lay a couple pieces of cardboard where I'm gonna be draining them all, just in case someone's to spill. Doesn't get all over my garage floor. All right. Got my half inch socket and my ratchet wrench, and I got my cardboard boxes set up. So, in case I make a little spiel, it's not too crazy. I got my catch pan. We can go ahead and drain the oil. Vent plug is open. Everything is ready. Let's go ahead and drain that off. There you go. So we'll let that all drain. We'll inspect our drain plug, uh, make sure there's no uh, tears in the gasket or anything, clean it up and get it ready to go back in once we let it drain. All right, so drain plug is clean. Everything looks good. Gas around looks good. We'll go ahead and get the tools we need to put that back in. All right, so we got our torque wrench and we need to set it to 20 foot pounds. These numbers are really small, but uh, all right, 20 foot pounds. Tighten that up and it's gonna be the same thing, the half inch drive. I need a, an adapter though. So we're gonna have to go from half inch to three eighths socket. And we'll go ahead and get that drain plug in there and torqued up. All right, got the drain plug back in. We'll go ahead and torque at the spec. That's uh, 20 foot pounds. All right, good to go. I'm gonna get a rag. I'll kind of wipe this up just so it's not dripping and then we'll move to the top. All right, so the drain plug's back installed. Torque to spec. We'll go ahead and pop the hood next and remove the oil filter. So the oil filter on the Jeep is a little different than all the other vehicles I've ever owned. They were underneath. Jeep's pretty cool. It's not very conventional, but I guess for Jeeps it is. 
but the oil filter is right here on the top which is pretty sweet easy to get to so we're going to go ahead and uh, remove this it's a 24 millimeter or a 15 16 socket so i'm going to get that we'll remove this and we'll swap it out with a new filter all right so i'm going to go ahead and tuck some napkins down right here so in case this wants to drip a little bit when i take it out and yeah should be good there i think cool so i have my filter here so i'm going back with uh, mopar it's the mo349 port number and uh just because it's the original so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and take my filter and i'm going to set it off to the side here with my new o-ring for the cap and i'm going to set this here so whenever i pull this one out i can just slide it in here and not make a mess hopefully but i got my uh, socket wrench and my 15 16 and we'll go ahead and get that loose and taken off I stick that in there. Pop the filter out. Set that there. Tuck this off to the side so it doesn't make a giant mess. And then we'll go ahead and install the new one. So I'm going to take my uh, pick and pull this old o ring off because the kit comes with a new one. Here. I'm going to grab my new one slide it on there make sure it's sitting in that groove where it goes there then I'm gonna get some paper towels and clean this off before we put it back in so I'm just gonna wipe this off get that old oil off of there same thing with this before it plugs in just clean up around it a little bit then I'm gonna install a new filter just snaps in there like that and we'll screw it back in. We got our torque wrench and torque it to spit. Alright, so we got the oil filter, the new oil filter installed, and we're gonna have to This is why I need good equipment. That's a blooper. My wife thinks it's hilarious. I don't. <laughs> I need good equipment. I'm working with with stuff here that's Anyways, all right, we're back in action. Okay, anyways, back to what I was saying. So we're gonna torque the filter housing to 18 foot-pounds. So we were at 20, so we're just gonna back off. Let's see, where's 10, there's zero. All right, so we're gonna go to 18 foot-pounds. And I have my 15, 16 socket. We're gonna go ahead and snug that up, torque it down. Alright, there it is. Cool deal. Let's go ahead and uh, fill it up. Alright, so I chose to go with Mobile One. Uh, the extended performance is full synthetic. Uh, it's zero uh, weight or zero W20 weight. This is what the manufacturer recommends uh, as far as weight goes. It doesn't necessarily recommend Mobile One. That's just a disclosure. You get to put what you want. I'm putting what I want. So this is what we're going to go back with. And it is five quarts. I did check the uh, owner's manual, and it even says on the cap, zero W20. So I got some uh, extra rags here close by in case I need them. Hopefully I don't. I don't want to make a mess. But I'm going to be dumping the whole five quarts, so shouldn't be too bad. I'm going to put these here just in case, because... I just know something's gonna happen. Oh, oh, we made it. Nice, nice and easy. Super surprised I didn't make a mess yet, which is crazy. The funny thing is, is my wife's like walking around right now looking underneath the car to make sure it's all not like pouring out everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't trust my skills. Another disclaimer, I'm not a mechanic. I'm not a mechanic by trade skill or thought i just do what i can when i can but anyways five quarts pour it in there and you're good to go all right so we didn't make a mesh yay 
go ahead and put my funnel away. Put my cap back in there. Tighten that. And we are good to go. I'll clean up this mess and uh, we'll check the dipstick and make sure everything's good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and check the dipstick and make sure we have a sufficient amount of oil. Wipe it off. Get it all good and clean. All right, stick it back in there. And check it. All right, we look good, nice. So another thing I like to do uh, for every oil change is I like to add a little fuel treatment, help keep the uh, injectors clean and everything rolling like it should. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump a bottle of that in there. All right, so the next thing we need to do is reset our uh, oil life. All right, engine oil is now at 100%. So yeah, that's it, pretty easy. Okay, hold. All right, so I know this isn't a normal video that we would do, but I figured since it was my first oil change on the new truck, why not go ahead and film it? There's some people out there that like to know this kind of stuff. You may not have, uh, a Jeep Gladiator, but you may have a Jeep, or you may just want to tackle a weekend project by yourself, save a little cash, and, you know, whatever you want to do. But uh, we definitely appreciate y'all checking us out, and uh, stay tuned for more uh, cool videos. We got uh, a lot in store. A couple more videos with the Gladiator coming up, pretty cool stuff in store. Uh, a lot more outdoor adventures. So make sure to like and subscribe down below. Follow along. Thanks for checking us out.